Hello, hello there and welcome back to War Thunder. This is the third guide video for the Operation Summer and today we're talking about the aircraft. I've already done the tanks and also the ships. And today we're talking about first the reward planes and then obviously how to get the stars. And the event is an event marathon. So it starts on Friday the 7th of August till the 31st of August. And in those uh, roughly three weeks you can acquire overall 12 stars and 12 stars means that you have two days to get one star and you need to get three tasks out of the five tasks done and for five stars you get the AR 196A3 rank 1 German premium float plane which is the one that I'm definitely going after and for 10 stars the F11 F1 Tiger so you can miss a few days of grinding um, you can focus also on the ships or on the tanks if you like it's your personal way to go for it now the next thing is the tasks for the stars so there are five tasks that are the following. Number one, destroy 40 enemies in arcade or 20 in realistic battle or 14 in simulator battle. You also then can uh, mix them up if you want. The second task is win 10 battles with an activity of 60% or higher. The third one is drop 10 tons of TNT on enemy bases or uh, bombing points in total. Number four, destroy 11 enemies in one battle for arcade, four in realistic battle or two in simulator battle. And then the fifth and final task is help allies 10 times to destroy an enemy vehicle aka 10 kill assists. And um, yeah, those have to be player controlled targets, of course, but I think you also can, in theory, destroy tanks if you feel like it. Now, I personally don't really screw around with, uh, with jets. If you like this, this is okay, but you need to have at least a rank 3 or higher vehicle, aka plane. So, which tasks will I go for? Well, I think if you go for the 10 tons of bombs, then this is uh, rinse and repeat. You go with your German Schnell bombers, aka the Do 217s, the Chayu 288 if you have it, and you just rush the bombing points and drop them. You will see um, footage of this later on, and trust me, that is worth watching because, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did my special thing again. Then the other thing is, I obviously, once I have achieved this, I go for the kills. And I want to achieve 4 kills in one battle and also overall the 20 kills in RB. And as you can see here with the footage, um, I waited for them to come out after I had already 2 kills. I knew that the P47D wanted me to get into the flag field, so be it. And, uh, you know, I'm just spraying him down. He doesn't do the good evasive action. And there goes his elevator and down he goes. That's already three kills. I'm totally okay with now sacrificing myself. And uh, this is now trying to hose down the B-17. There is the kill. That's four kills and that's the mission done. Uh, or one of the tasks. Because you don't have to survive the battle. You don't have to win the battle. You only need to get four kills in one battle and that is the result so you know to shoot down a lot of uh, players and that's already one fifth of the overall kills now if you use uh, whatever fighter is to your heart's desire i wouldn't really go for winning and uh, i also don't want to go for the assists while both is doable i still want to have um, everything in my own hand i don't want to rely on my team and uh, despite playing axis you know that that's just one of those things so if you get the four kills in rb you already have a fifth of the overall 20 kills and uh, obviously then the 10 tons of uh, TNT bombs. Now this is a bit tricky because um, look at this. This is the perfect run and this is right from the start till the very end and when you see this you will see why I want to begin this task with the bomber mission because then you have then you can f solely concentrate on killing stuff and then that's relatively easy you can play with your squad and whatever. 
Now, why do I pick German bombers and not, you know, the iconic American B-17, B-24 or the uh, Lancasters, therefore, they might have higher bomb loads or better defense systems. Yes, but they are not fast. And that's the thing, because you use your altitude, you go into a dive to 600, 650 kilometers per hour, and you have enough bomb load for at least two bombing points um, but you know it's not the weight of the bomb that counts but the TNT uh, bursting charge and for the German one ton bomb that is 600 kilogram so you have the potential of 2.4 tons per flyout and that already sounds like you have to do five flyouts at minimum because it then ends up at 9.6 K if I'm counting correctly for four flyouts and you know, when you drop on those bombing points, that's a bit tricky because they don't take the full bomb capacity sometimes. Sometimes you're wasting stuff. And this is what I want to show here with this footage. So we are, um, how long now in the, in the, you know, bombing rush? Yeah, that's, that's like two minutes already, right? Um, but I want to do this as fast as possible and why this is a bit repetitive at least it is efficient and with the Dotor and 17s you don't have to fear the repair costs of for example the Heinkel 177 that has still 45,000 civil line repair costs. Now that was one uh, bombing point done and now I drop a single one on this one and at around this battle rating of 4.7 it really depends if you have an up tier or a down tier because that also determines the health of the bases and uh, yes you can do this also with jet bombers if you have some of them available but it's a bit more for me personally it's a bit more cool to do it with a uh, bomber. Now this is already where the enemies are coming dangerously close and obviously they want me. And as a bomber you're not just gun food, you're also a distraction. Um, you force the enemy fighters low, you force the fighters to um, waste altitude and, and speed if they try to turn after you etc and you can also rip apart the team's formation that gives your fighters a big advantage and so you can achieve already one or two wins if you want to go for this and also you can do this with the e version yes i traded and that is perfect because that's nearly two tons of bombs um in three minutes delivered and a kill and I got killed so I can get into the next match where I can do the same. So I can do the bombing mission in less than half an hour, right? And then obviously it comes to the Cheyu 288. It is a very popular premium. A lot of people have it and I'm just doing my thing again, which is um, turn fighting enemy fighters because this thing has a 20 millimeter back gunner and that is pretty effective. As you can see here, that's already a critical. And uh, yeah, uh, Spitfire thought, ha, easy prey. Um, but you know, <clears throat> that's just me. I know that I'm damaged, I couldn't care less. I'd swing around for another attack run on the F4U. And uh, with a bomber to attack a fighter, fighters are highly confused. Then they instinctively try to get on your tail. But that is exactly what you want them to do and before they can align their guns uh, with uh, your trajectory you can aim for them and gun them down with a 20 millimeter and german mine shells especially the german 20 millimeters they don't they don't take too many hits to achieve this so while i'm screwing around i think uh, this is also getting some kills while you're at it and you know it's having fun and it kind of e eases up this kind of repetitive bomb run thing but the Cheyu 288 is maybe not as effective as the Dotuan 17 because the Dotuan 17 has four one ton bombs overall 2.4 tons of TNT equivalent whereas the um, Cheyu 288 with its second kill has two 1.8 ton bombs that have a bursting charge of one ton each and uh, just after a few minutes we are here with 1.76 tons of um, TNT again a bit of overkill on the bombing point and already two kills that's four kills um, overall as it counts so that's a tenth of the overall requirement 
So we begin here then with another German bomber, which is uh, very funny indeed, and that is the almighty ME264. Battle rating 4.7, just like the Dota and 17. In theory, it also has the option of higher bomb load, but I wanted to focus here on this battle. So I got rid of my first bomb load. And um, again, this is where it is a bit of a down tier, I guess. And I get the bases with the lesser health. So one one ton bomb would be enough um, because then you could use the burn down mechanic of the mini base or the bombing point, if you will. But it was really this battle, which was one of the earliest battles. I think that was the first battle of the day, if I'm not, cor if I'm not mistaken. And I just tried it out. Now, I'm trying this out um, to get a feeling if the planes are still what I remember them to be, if the tactics still work. And you know, it doesn't really work every single time, but at least you're not spending hours upon doing this and you're not desperately to load up the bomb, uh, the fighters with bombs um, to get then that mission done. Because winning 10 missions, even with Axis teams, that takes, what, 15, 14, 15 battles. And every battle taking like, what, 20 minutes? That is a lot of time, to be honest, at least two, three hours. And if you're going only for the kills and you get some of them uh, with your uh, with your bombers, then that's fine. But, you know, it is why not to use this plane. Now, while I had a pretty impressive run with, uh, with the bombs and also some kills with, you know, spoiler alert, the bombs and also the defensive guns, it took me for two bomb runs 25 minutes. That's not worth it. Um, but again, then it was this carry and uh, it's a bit more about the gameplay itself rather than fulfilling the mission at this point. So what do you do? You go for uh, the bombing missions first. Um, tanks and artillery and any sort of vehicles, buildings, etc. They don't count. Uh, the bombing points and the main base, they count. Um, and you know it's the TNT bursting charge that counts towards the 10 tons not the weight of the bombs themselves this is very important a lot of people get this wrong and after you have done this you might have already a few kills in the back you go for the four kills in one mission you don't care about kill assists except if you're really unlucky but then you know that's also one way of fulfilling a task and you then go for the overall 20 kills, at least in realistic. And that's doable within, you know, an hour or so as well. And I think that's the most uh, reliable uh, way to do this. Unless you are really into jets, unless you are really a ground attacker fan, unless you're really um, going for a different way of doing this, then you're probably not watching this video anyway so i think that's all that i have to say now at this point the la7b got defeated i think i killed his wingtip uh he tried to shoot me down uh he was the last uh, for the russians i was the last for the germans and yeah we got him down and again i want to show the absurd performance of this heavy long range bomber that is the me264 ridiculous that this was i guess it was introduced at the uh, battle rating 3.7 now it's 4.7 and it's still very much capable and uh, yeah we're hunting down a fighter with it with a heavy bomber yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just doing my thing again so i think that this guide is kind of helpful at least you know what to do now if you pick axis fighters be careful what you're picking because the repair costs can range between uh, 15,000 silver lines up to 35,000 or even 43,000 silver lines for the Germans, the Japanese and the Italian fighters. So you have to watch out for this as well. And there you can see that was also three kills with a bomber. You can do it if you know what you're doing. And that's it for me today. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you enjoyed this guide, let me know if it was helpful, and as usual, we will see each other uh, on the waves, 
on the battlefields and in the skies of War Thunder.